Thanks for joining me for another video. My name is Sean and I'm a registered dietitian. Today, we are gonna be going over a TPN example. So if you haven't seen some of my other TPN videos where I go over Clinimix and I go over uh, carbs and protein and fat, please check them out. I'll put them in the description below. But today we're gonna walk through a hypothetical scenario with a patient that needs 1700 kcals and 75 grams of protein. So remember, we're going to be using a Clinimix. Uh, a, this is a TPN product, and it's a pre-mixed dextrose and amino acid containing fluid. The other thing we need to figure out is our fats. So we're going to be using a product called intralipids. Now, if you remember from the intralipid video, intralipids come in a 250 milliliter bag of can we see that? 250 of 20% lipids. And that bag will be 500 kcals. So remember, a 20% lipid solution is 2 calories per milliliter. The bag is 250 milliliters, which means the whole bag is 500 kcals. We're not going to give this product every day. We're going to give it every other day, QOD, which means the patient will receive approximately 250 calories from fat every day from intralipids. So what we can do is we can subtract the fat calories from their total caloric need and get 1450. These are the remaining calories that we need to get from our amino, ac ac ugh, amino acid dextrose containing fluid. So what we can do is now that we know they need 75 grams of protein, 1450 calories, we can go to our little cheat sheet and we can take a look. This is the 520 solution. If we go to 70 an hour, that'll give 84 grams of protein, meaning their protein needs, and it'll give them 1478 kcals. So this, um, this product, this 520 solution at 70 an hour, will meet their needs. Now if their protein needs were higher, we can take a look at this 515 solution. Go over to where the calories say 1450. Cool, does it meet their protein needs? 102. So if the patient had higher protein needs, we could go with the 515 solution, but we don't need to give them 102 grams of protein. They only need 75, so I'm going with the 520 solution. So we will go with the 520 solution at 70 mils per hour. And that'll give our patient 1478 calories plus the 250 from the fat. So 1478 plus 250 gives us 1728. 1728 kcals, 84 grams of protein. And then the last thing we need to figure out is something called the GIR. This is the glucose infusion rate. This is in milligrams per kilogram per minute. And what this tells us is how much dextrose is this patient getting? And if they have out of control blood sugars, diabetic, typically I try and keep the GIR under five. So, what we can do is, this is a trick. You take the grams of dextrose, which is shown here, it says dextrose, this is 70 an hour, 336. So this patient's getting 336 grams of dextrose divided by their kilograms and then we do 1.44. Now why use 1.44? Well if you were to actually follow this, this patient is getting 336000 oh, 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 milligrams 
per kilogram per minute. But instead of multiplying, instead of multiplying their dextrose by a thousand and then dividing by one point uh, 1440 minutes per day, you can just take the grams and divide by 1.44. So it skips that step of having to convert grams to milligrams by just converting your, your minutes. It's just a little trick. So her GIR, I think, is something like 3.8, 3.9. So 336 divided by 60 divided by 1.44, 3.9. 3.88. So the way that this looks is we're recommending TPN, it's a clinomix solution, 520, goal rate 70 mils an hour to provide. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. We're going to give them TPN 520 solution at 70 mils an hour with 250 mils of 20% intralipids every other day to provide on average 1728 calories, 84 grams of protein, GIR 3.9. So that's the way that works. Now there's obviously, you're not gonna start at the goal rate, you're gonna give them um, a small amount and work their way up the way that you would normally do on rate-based two feeds, but I'm not going to go over initiation and advancement of TPN. This just goes over the basic math behind the TPN. So hopefully you find this video helpful. I will be putting out more examples. So as I mentioned uh, earlier, it's really important to go over the math over and over again, to read Aspen books, to work with dietitians. This is one of the most complex um, skills that you will develop as a dietitian. And so it takes quite a bit of time. Some dietitians only do TPN. That's um, how important and how, just how complex the subject is. So if it's a bit confusing or overwhelming right now, that's totally to be expected, uh, but Obviously, as a preceptor, that's you know something that we work really patiently with uh, our interns. So if you have any other questions, post them in the comment section down below. If you appreciate me making these videos on my days off, give me the thumbs up and subscribe if you find these videos helpful. Thanks, guys, for watching. Cheers.